Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues for their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking of a mobile device in order to be used with a different carrier or network other than the one that originally sold it. By default, most mobile devices these days are going to come with some sort of lock that restricts them to only being used on the original carrier and they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different carrier or different network. Now here with us today we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S7 that's originally from AT&T here in the US and as we'll be able to see this is a device that has not yet been SIM unlocked because when we have a different carrier SIM card inserted we get that message there saying that it's an invalid SIM card and then when we swipe away the lock screen we also have of course the screen here asking for the SIM unlock code. And that's a standard unlock mechanism that AT&T uses on just about all of their devices. But we're making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this model SIM unlocked, and you don't need to necessarily get the unlock code directly from AT&T or Samsung or a third party site. We've had plenty of customers contact us over the years asking for help with this specific thing, either because they weren't the original owner or didn't meet some of other uh, some of AT&T's other requirements in order for them to give them the unlock code or because they tried to order the unlock code from some online website or company that supposedly sold them and either the website ripped them off and took their money or they just told them that they couldn't provide the code or whatever the situation may have been. So we're making this video and running our unlock program here as we're speaking in order to show everyone that we do have a way to be able to manually unlock this model without having to have the exact code from AT&T or from a third party source. Now I should mention that this is something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the the world so you don't necessarily need to be here directly in our area in order for us to be able to perform this for you. It's something that can be done for, again for just about anyone as long as you have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can just go into your computer remotely through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we're doing right here right now as we speak. And then I should also mention that the same procedure can also be done for the S7 Edge as they're essentially the exact same model just of course the Edge having a bigger screen screen and bigger battery. Now, our unlock program is just about wrapped up here. As you've been able to see, the phone has restarted a couple times. And now this time, after it boots up, we should be able to see that the device does not give those messages that it was showing before, and also that it is able to pull in signal and work on that other SIM card that we have inserted. So I'm just going to give it another few seconds here until it finishes running. as it's going to wrap up the last few steps here really quickly. You should be able to notice here right away that that invalid SIM card message is no longer showing up in the same spot that it was before, so that is a very good sign. And we just got to wait here for our program to finish applying the last few steps. We just wanted to make sure that we showed the entire process start to finish because there are always those people who claim that we're faking the video somehow or that we can't actually do the services that we're advertising, that there's some trickery involved somehow. We just wanted to show that that is definitely not the case. So we did have one final restart left there on the phone. We're just going to wait for that to finish coming up here in just a second. Okay, so again, as before, we can see that that invalid SIM card message is no longer showing up there on the lock screen. And then when we swipe that away, we can also see that the phone is no longer asking for that SIM unlock code. 
It just takes us directly to the home screen and shows us all of the apps. So we're going to give it a second or two here to finish kicking in the network signal. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we're working with here. So under the about section, we can see that we do indeed have a Samsung Galaxy S7. And then of course, the specific model number there for the AT&T version is the G930A. And now if we jump under status and then if we go under sim card status we should be able to see here yep there we go so our signal has just kicked in so it does indeed show here that we are registered on t-mobile's network because that is the sim card that we have inserted and we have all of our connections there mobile network state connected and we are in service so the phone is indeed now working on that sim card that we have inserted and it's been fully sim unlocked for any other compatible network so if you have an AT&T S7 or S7 Edge and would like to get it SIM unlocked, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the, all the details there as well. Make sure to check out all of the other videos that we have here on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding just like this one. Y para todos hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.